If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hey Photos family, today we're going to be talking to you about the strobe and its capabilities of modeling lamp, the uh, turning off the modeling lamp if you want to, how they can communicate wirelessly, and what all the, the rest of these buttons mean back here because it, it really can get kind of confusing. I forgot for a little while that JTL was wireless capable and so I was messaging the previous owner <laughs> and going, what button is what again? Is it really capable of wireless communication? Yes, it is. I mean, to be quite honest, if you could see up here, um, that looks like a light bulb, but it really communicates wirelessly. I don't remember if it's infrared or exactly what it is, but it's both a, uh, if I recall, a transmitter and a receiver. The, the technical term for that is called a transceiver because it transmits and it receives. However, I forgot about that, but then I also realized either my camera has to have that type of communicator on the hot shoe, which I believe you can do with a flash, or you need to have your camera connected with the tether cable to your quarter inch connection right here. Then once your camera is connected to one of the JTL lights, it will communicate to all the other communicable capable lights just like this. So that information given to you about these lights let's talk about what these settings are and what it means this over here if you do choose to have your modeling lamp lit which is what this button is it looks a little bit like a light bulb and it's a dark gray color if you have that pressed in which I believe is turned on then your modeling lamp will light but then this button over here allows you to modify whether you want that modeling lamp at full brightness or if you want that modeling lamp at partial brightness which is why the other light bulb is only half colored in. This button right here with the eyeball up above it for uh, a symbol is giving you the option of using your wireless communication or not. If it's pressed in, it's turned on. If it's turned on, then all you need to do is have a communication device on your camera like a flash, which will transmit at the right um, communication language, whether that's infrared or I, I can't be exactly sure. Some cameras are capable of doing that on their own and you don't need an attachment on your hot shoe for such an instance. But JTL, I believe, and Godox, a few other brands, have a controller that you can put on your camera and through the communication of your camera to the hot shoe and that device, it will communicate to your lights when your camera is opening the shutter to actuate and when the strobe should go off. And so that's very handy. You don't have to have wires for you or anyone else that you may be photographing to trip over. And it's a very convenient way of making sure that your lights work and everything else. It's just one other thing which needs to be uh, verified is working before the shoot starts. I have to do that every time with uh, any uh, wire or, or flash tethering that I have to use to that one strobe. And then I have to make sure that that one strobe is actually communicating to all the other strobes and will fire off at the same time. That really is the detail of how all of this is set up. Now, this button right here doesn't turn anything on or off necessarily. It just gives your uh, strobe the option of being able to go off and discharge the power that it has stored up. Up here will be your indicator of how powerful we discussed you have turned your strobe to be, but it will also let you when it has recharged up to whatever power level you have. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment down below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, we'd love to have your subscription and join our Photos family. God bless.